and uh, she got caught wide in a, a couple of goes she's had the most recent one she was caught wide in a listed race at Flemington see how she performs here previous one by Raffaella that was a really impressive win last time out there came from back in a slow run race now won two from three since joining the Kavanaugh stable it was a really good win Raffaello okay now they're starting to call them up field getting ready okay on the tote we have joyous at 35170 and she's been pretty well tried too on course uh, second pick ravishing reward at three dollars seventy royal charades at 540 and she's been well backed uh, on track royal charades she's eight into 550 on track 1030 for trace oil they're the main ones now already got it lined up into the gates here's royal charades about to come along wayne's gold in the interim goes into the stalls now quizzical lady is about to come in last four or five getting set here blazonry to move up light has been turned on the starters heading over to the ladder now so blazonry to move in and also joyous well she's got the outside stool she could well slide over and be right on the speed after a couple of hundred meters here's blazonry coming in starters on the ladder in anticipation of joyous joining them now blazonry right joyous joined them they're set in the 1200 meters shoot for the miss finland ready to go line looks okay racing now oh joyous just a little awkward out of the barrier stalls over near the outside uh, away pretty quickly is Quizzical Lady down on the inside. She's burning up along the inside to be with the leaders. And uh, Darcy Lorna goes up to split the two front runners. And Moylan is there as well. They're followed further back in the field then by Royal Charades over on the outside. She's tracking out wide from Blazonry and Wayne's Gold. And further back has already got it. Trezor towards the end. And Ravishing Reward back on the inside. It's Quizzical Lady at the 600. Joyous a half length away second. Darcy Lorna a half length third three deep they're followed then by Moylan over on the inside and then came Royal Charades back behind them blazonry deep from already got it then ravishing reward poking up on the fence but she's blocked for a run Wayne's gold at the end with Trezor they corner now quizzical lady headed by joyous Royal Charades about to come Moylan trying for an out ravishing reward on their back nowhere to go here 200 to go joyous in front Moylan getting the split Royal Charades coming on. Ravishing Reward getting out late. Royal Charades got to Joyous. Royal Charades in front here. And Royal Charades will win it from Ravishing Reward, who got home late and will get the second close third between Moylan the inside and Darcy Lorna. Joyous weakening on her run. And then came Trezor Blazonry. Wayne's Gold already got it. And Quizzical Lady, who showed a ton of dash, weakens last in. Well, haven't they hammered this on the tape? Into $4.60. They've hammered it late in the bidding for uh, for the boss man. And Royal Charades, well, mighty Mick was right again. He said the 1,200 holes no fears for her. And she's been able to win it. Ravishing Rewards done a good job. She'll strip a lot fitter for that run. And a photo third between Moylan first up and also Darcy Lorna coming from the back in the blue colours. And after the photo, it looks like uh, Darcy Lorna, number 10, third. Number 9, Moylan and fourth and joyous Shane Templeton back fifth well how do you stop him Mick Price he's just a great trainer <laughs> isn't he just he knows exactly what he's doing with all his gallopers she'd won three in a row uh, then she had a miss and we spoke to him early on and he just said well she's looking for the 1200 now she's ready for it and he was right she tracked into the race beautifully joyous didn't begin well and then was ridden hard to get up outside the speed and couldn't kick on Ravishing reward, held up a couple of times, got out late and ran well. She'll probably be extremely hard to beat with that run under her belt. But today, all honours with Royal Charades and Glenn Boss and, of course, the all-conquering trainer in Mick Price, who just continues to rack up win after win after win. Numbers after race four are seven, six, ten and nine. Seven, six, ten and nine. We'll have some interim dividends for you very shortly as uh, Terry is heading over to speak again with Mick Price who just knocks up training winners. As we've said last Saturday, a red letter day for him with a few group ones and today he's already notched up a double here at Caulfield. 
There's the replay of the winner again. And now here's the interims up on your screen. And you can see that she was crunched on Super Tab into 460. First force paid 2,407. Terry is with Mick Price. Yeah, Mick, uh, you're getting a bit freakish at the moment, mate. I don't know about that. I've trained plenty of losers. <laughs> You were very confident the 1,200 metres, and she's done it pretty softly? Yeah, she's having a really good prep. It took her a while to uh, sort of body up. You know, she's a very light filly when we bought her. So now, I suppose, um, I think she's had 12 starts for six wins. Um, I haven't got any grand plans for her, but it's, uh, you know, just a nice filly to go through these uh, Saturday mares and win good prize money, and uh, that's all good. Beautiful ride by G-Boss. She seems to be able to handle both sides of the ground. Yes, uh, definitely the soft tracks won't, won't worry her too much. Uh, I don't think she, I'm not, not in a big hurry to get past 1,200 metres with her, but um, just happy to win today. She's taken a while to get to Saturday Company, but uh, now we're there, we can stay there. Is it a case of uh, 1,200, a bit less tempo to the 1,000 and gives her a chance to sort of settle and not do the chasing early? Absolutely, that's what we thought after Sandown. You know, she won those ordinary Sandown races and the other day it wasn't a bad race and she just got caught for a turn of foot. But, um, yeah, beautiful ride by G-Boss. He's a real credit to these uh, Victorian jockey ranks. Um, happy to use him any time. Could you take me in the stable for a couple of weeks and straighten me out, Mick? I could knock you around the ears, Terry. <laughs> Good on you, mate. There he is, uh, <laughs> Mick Price, after the running of the uh, fourth race on the card. And, uh, yeah, Glenn Boss, hasn't he been busy? Went to Albury, uh, Mooney Valley last night. He's been all over the countryside, and, of course, the Group 1 victory last week, Shane. And his first uh, trip to sale during the week where he won on Wednesday, of course. Now, I reckon this track's just about due for an upgrade, isn't it? They've broken 110 there. 19.81 for the 1200. 19.81. Winner is won by a length and a quarter with three quarters of a length between second and third. She was well tried on track, eight into 550, uh, but the main money, as Sporting Bet Australia told us, was for the Toppy Joyeuse 380 into the 360. They were the two the punters uh, wanted, and uh, well, many of them got it right. Glenn Boss about to weigh in, and then he'll be chatting with Terry. OK, uh, just waiting uh, to get the scales uh, report to come through with uh, Glenn Boss. Glenn, while I've got you here, we can probably have a quick chat, mate. Have you slept at all? Um, yeah, no, I had a good sleep. I didn't, didn't do track work this morning, so um, slept until about 7.38. Uh, I'll let you get on the scales and make it official with Alan. Glenn Boss just making sure everything's sweet here. Alan Reed and Chairman of Stewards today. And uh, Mick had her obviously trained beautifully for that race today. Yeah, I know. I commented before I got on her how healthy she looked. The coat just really glowed. And, yeah, obviously it's really nice to get on the Mick Price train, you know, and, and, and go along for a bit of a ride every now and then because everything he puts out runs in the first three. It's incredible. So, uh, you know, it's really nice that Mick's given me a, a, an opportunity to ride these horses. And it's very good for you, very commendable, uh, Glenn. You've busted yourself to, you know, to be there in full commitment and you're getting the rewards with it with hard work. Oh, you know, I mean... I mean, obviously, you hope that you're going to get rewarded when you're really put in. Um, and like I said, I'm really having a crack at this. And uh, it's nice that people are recognising that you are putting in and, uh, and, they're, and, they're, and they're rewarding you with, with decent rides. Yeah, that track out there pretty good today? Yeah, this is perfect, this track today. It's, um, yeah, Mick asked me to sort of get two or three off the fence down the running where it looks like there's a line or it looks like they're sort of getting. But whether that's just in someone's head that that's the spot to be. Um, but it feels very good to me and feels even. Okay, keep up the good work, Bossy. Yeah, cheers, thank you. There he is, Glenn Boss. And, uh, well, you'd think Bossy almost to be at Rose Hill for the big uh, group races, but uh, I'm sure he'll be back there next week uh, riding plenty more group winners as we head back to Sydney now for the running of the next.